Welcome to this podcast, Grace for All, produced by members of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. It is our hope that these brief daily devotions will bring you comfort and peace. Thank you for listening. Jesus, my brother. Romans chapter 8, verse 17 says, Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in His sufferings, in order that we may also share in His glory. Nothing encourages me more than to think that I have been adopted into the family of God. And nothing challenges me more than to think that I have been adopted into the family of God. We who have received the gift of the Holy Spirit are the children of God. No longer slaves, we have been adopted. By grace, we call God Daddy and Jesus Brother. This means that we are co-heirs with Christ and God says to us, Everything I have is yours. But it also means that just as Christ suffered with us, we must suffer with Christ. Living in this world is hard. Life is messy. Relationships are messy. We seek certainty and direction. We want to find something we can count on. We want things to be clear, right or wrong, good or bad. But if we are paying attention, we know that few things are certain, and few things are all or nothing. Being part of a family requires wrestling through the uncertainty, complications, and messiness of life together. Families suffer together, and families celebrate together. And this is what it's like to be part of God's family, too. It means that we are accepted and loved, and that we will always have a place to belong. But it doesn't mean that life will be easy, or that we'll always get along. This scripture passage suggests to me that entering into all of the complicated mess of this world is the pathway to joy and peace. Jesus did not avoid life's messiness or its complications or conflict. Jesus entered into suffering, not only the suffering of the cross, but the suffering of the world. And therein lies Christ's glory. As this scripture says, we also share in Christ's sufferings, so that we may also share in His glory. As the family of God, we share in one another's, too. Let us pray. God, thank you for adopting me into your family. Let me not forget your love for all of my brothers and sisters. Use me this day to be an encouragement to someone else and allow me to be challenged to love more fully even when it's difficult. May I truly share in Christ's sufferings so that I may also share in His glory. Amen. This devotional was written and read by Greta Smith. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. 
To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.